Hey everybody, my name is Gademo. Welcome back for another video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. We're about to start our, uh, I don't know how many years that's been now. We started in what, 1917? Uh, the franchise and now we are in 1923. So you guys make the math for me. I don't really know how to do the math properly for this one, but I think it's five years or whatever. Anyways, we are with the Edmonton Tigers on our third year. We're about to begin as the GM's uh, the GM for this team. We won the cup right with uh, with them in the, our first year right here. This all these cups, uh, Stanley Cup uh, championship right here. That's four Stanley Cup championships in a row for me as a GM. Uh, with I won three in a row with uh, Montreal, but then I decided to move on to uh, another team, which is the Edmonton Tigers, and I won the cup again, but with them. And uh, this year, the last year. We actually had a pretty shitty year or disappointing one at least and uh, uh, Montreal decided to uh, win the cup again but we did get a major trade and uh, a major trade that was I mean we got Babe Die on our team this year so not only last year the other year before we got Lalonde which he had a tough time because he didn't really have enough chemistry for Stanley even though he did play good uh, now we got Babe Die to help out even further. So now we actually have two legitimate first liners playing on the first line. That's usually how it works. I mean, if you see um, in the 18s and stuff, 17, 18s, even 16s. Uh, if you're a 16, that means you belong in the top lines. And uh, that should be good. So I think we're, we're going to be just fine here. We also have Corv Dedeny. We got some good players in here. Uh, Alec Connell is going to be our main new goaltender, right? Our main new starting goaltender. We are going to simulate until the actual season starts. So let me just go ahead and do that. I did end up trading uh, the two prospects I was talking about last video. Uh, I ended up uh, trading them boys for a couple of draft picks or something like that. Tex White. Okay, so these are all a bunch of minor players that are eligible to waivers. Don't really care. Let's just continue until it's really the season here. Uh, Ottawa wave is Jack Forbes, so Jack Forbes is into the waivers. Whatever, I could can I couldn't claim. I was I wasn't quick enough. I could have claimed that goalie. It would have been pretty good if I claimed it. But then again, he's a oh yeah, he's an NHL goalie, so I don't want to do that. Even it says here, look at this, Babe Die is like the probably the best player of the league right now. So we got the best player of the league. That's crazy. Let's see what Montreal can do without their best player. Uh, we'll, we'll see, boys. But they do have Morans, I guess. But um, for us, I mean, it's a huge boost for our team to have someone like Babe die. He's the best scorer of the, the league for a couple of years now. There we go. We're starting to win games here. Started with two wins. Now, remember, we did start really good last year. But we uh, finished up pretty bad. So I'm hoping that we can be consistent here. There we go. So far we are, but that's just the beginning. Uh, it's just going to be the 10 first games. I'm looking forward to the other 10 games. And afterwards, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we did lose to George Ainsworth right here. He's a stud goaltender. That's one goaltender that, that would be awesome to have. I'm not going to just steal every player that Montreal has. I mean, I'm only going to do uh, trades that make sense. Silver Mientas has been uh, suspended. That's fine. We are at seven games played, so let's just continue, boys. Seven games played right here. Oh, my God. We're starting to lose. So, there's two losses in a row right here. Uh, every team, like the other teams, are getting a lot of suspensions. We're probably the only team that doesn't have any suspensions so far. That's kind of crazy. Let's just continue right here. Oh, my God. Another loss against Toronto. All right, then. Uh, now, I know, guys, I have managed to... So, we're at 10 games. So I'm... I'm I did uh, during my editing hear all about hear the sound so you you hear the clicking for my mouse but there's nothing really I can do about that uh, I can change so you're gonna hear the clicks from my mouse but that's only normal that's how it is really maybe I can minimize it by just simulating entirely and not clicking every time but I don't really have a choice I gotta click really so so really I don't have a choice boys Let's just uh, go ahead and do and go take a look at the stats right here. So here's the stats so far after 10 games. Obviously the best score of the league. Babe died, but he's actually tied up with Morenz, boys. 
which is a three-star player right now. So Babe Die, uh, six goals in ten games played. He's got uh, not as many points though. All right, he's not having more points than games right now. That's probably because of the chemistry. He's gonna build it up though. Uh, New Zealand's actually doing pretty good, pretty decent. Players overall are having a tough time this year. I mean, the best players are 13 points in 10 games played. Hey, the, all of the players in the NHL, uh, looks like they're having a bit of a tough time, I guess. That's interesting. And best uh, goalie right now is still a Georgian for 5 wins. Connell's doing pretty good. 3 wins, 2 losses, 1 loss in overtime. So he's doing alright. And Rinkler has got three wins and one loss. He's doing it better than uh, Connell, actually. I'm not sure because he's got a better save percentage, Connell. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Voyager isn't as in, uh, as in uh, gold uh, yet. He's, he wasn't in the goal, the gold tending situation. It's obviously their backup. I do want to see at the history, though. So Hap Holmes is in there. He's still the best. Uh, he's still the one with the most wins. I'm wondering if Lalonde's going to be able to, before he retires, to, I guess, pass Malone. He should be able to. He's pretty close. He's definitely uh, in there for the goals, though. And for Ainsworth, I just he did pass Vizina, but uh, he's definitely going to pass uh, Holmes as well. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. So let's get some team dissimulation here. There we go. That was a win against Benedict. That's what I want to see. All veteran goaltenders, they shouldn't be able to beat us. Ainsworth uh, won against us, though. There we go. Connell, make, a, make us win games, man. Make us win games. Yeah, now Montreal's starting to win again. See? It's uh, just like last year. We were winning games, but all of a sudden, like, Montreal wakes up and they decide to win every single game against us, which is what's hurting us, really. All right, 17 games, so let's just continue. We've got three more games to simulate right here. Another loss against Ainsworth. Fuck, man. That's rough, boys. Another loss again. Two games in a row against Montreal. We win both of them. Uh, we lose both of them. And now we lose against Toronto. We can't afford to lose that many games. Now we're not even in the playoffs again. Exactly like last year, boys. We were doing all, uh, just fine, and all of a sudden, we start losing games like crazy. And Toronto, like, look at this. Toronto is even better than Montreal. But we weren't struggling against Toronto that much. But Montreal is just starting to win games like crazy against us. That's hurting us. We don't have to worry about Ottawa. Ottawa's garbage. It always has been. But um, we gotta we, we got to worry about Montreal. And that's a problem. So best score right now for 20 games is Morantz with 13 goals. Yeah, definitely uh, there's not going to be a, a big time score this year. Uh, the players are, are struggling. They dies in second at 11 uh, goals. 10 goals for Lalon. All right. Pretty much the normal at this point for him in his career. 26 points for Moran. So he's the best player of the league right now. Lalon is the second best. He's actually tied up with Moran. So Lalon's got 26 uh, points, boys. I think he might have a, a better season than last year. That's pretty good for us. Babe died 20 points in 20 games played. So there we go. As long as it does more points than games, I think, or uh, point per game, I, f I'm, I should be fine with uh, Babe die. I mean, he's playing the first line after all. He's got to build that chemistry, though. That's a problem. And uh, for Ainsworth, 12, game, 12 wins. Connell's got 7. All right, then. All right. Let's just continue until the end of the season right here. We lost another game. All right. We're losing games against Toronto now. Jesus, now we can't, if we can't, there we go, at least we're, we're, we are facing up against Ottawa, which is good for us, because at least that makes us win games, uh, two games out of three, that's probably going to be the last game right here, yeah, that's the last game, against Montreal, oh, it's over, we're already out of the playoffs, as you can see, yeah, it's over, so we didn't make the playoffs, a second year in a row, we're not going to make the playoffs, all this because we lost uh, so many games against Montreal. These games that we uh, lost against Montreal and Toronto, boys. Look at this. Again, we lose. These are clutch games that we cannot afford to lose, and we lose them. So there's a second game in a row, a second year in a row that we do not make the playoffs. That's not good. That's my... Okay, so I consider right there my GM. Uh, my GM uh, record for this, for this team is... It's not good. 
really not good. I did not do a good job at all, boys. I'm kind of disappointed in myself right here. Um, I've got, I have four years in my contract. I have one last year remaining under the Hamilton Tigers uh, uh, border or, or control. So I got to make something happen for this team because I may get, I gave them a, a cup on their first year, but afterwards, the two other years, I didn't even make it to playoffs. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, Babe Dives got 15, 15 goals. So he's, he managed to fi finish first in the goals again. So he's definitely, he's always going to be the best scorer as for now at least. Uh, but it was just a tough year overall for everyone. But um, New Zealand, look at this. Their old timer, New Zealand, is actually the best player in the league right now. 30 points in 24 games played. Awesome, awesome. I love that. I love seeing that. Yeah, Morans in second at 27 uh, points. Uh, Reg Noble in there as well. We got Babe Die 26 points. Uh, kind of disappointing year for Babe Die after the last one he had. But uh, he's in a new team, so that's only normal. He has to figure his shit out, I guess. Cameron as well. Boucher, all right. Interesting. And the goalies, most wins, the same amount of wins as last year for George Ainsworth, 14. And Alec Connell's at 9, so he's second this time around. See, we had a pretty decent year. We had a better year than last one. It's just at the end. We, we fucked up at the end. But New Zealand uh, managed to break up uh, Malone's record, so he's now first. Lalonde is now the best player of all time as of now, and the best scorer of all time. He's the Gretzky of our of our time right now, uh, New Zealand, which is awesome. Uh, George Ainsworth is getting in there for the wins, though. He's going there pretty quick. Let's look at our uh, actually uh, actual history for the Hamilton Tigers. Our best player of all time over here is Frank Boucher, and afterwards it's Barney Stanley. All right, and George uh, Vizina is actually our best goaltender of all time. We don't have a big history with goaltenders, as you can see. They don't tend to last too long. But uh, we'll try. We'll try to make it better, I guess. Let's just uh, simulate right here until it's all good. So Montreal, they defeated uh, Toronto again. So now we gotta wait for Montreal to s and see if they're gonna beat uh, whichever team they're facing against in the uh, in the actual finals, right? So I never watch a handyman. Banco got injured. Okay. Let me just see. Let's go. Let's continue the simulation right here. Are they going to win the cup again, officially? Yeah, there we go, boys. Montreal won the cup again. Uh, they um, beat this time around the Eskimos of Edmonton. So it's not Vancouver anymore. But it doesn't matter because Montreal is just too OP. And they won another cup. That puts them at a second cup in a row without me. Fifth cup in six years. God damn, five cups in six years. This team is OP. Uh, I want to continue with the tactics, I guess. So I guess tactics, there we go. I'm just going to modify that and that should do it. Let's go into the 1st of July. See what kind of changes there's going to be to this uh, this league this year. There's probably going to be a, a couple. Uh, Cyclone Taylor at the age of 40 decided to retire. So Montreal just uh, lost Cyclone Taylor. Interesting. Anybody else? Nothing really. Eddie Gerard decided to become a coach. Oh, we got some new uh, new teams. I already see it, boys. Hold on. Uh, we got some new teams. We actually have six teams. We were four teams. So there's two new teams. Hold on. Two new teams. We, I, uh, we already see them. You already see them right there. These are the new teams. Okay, so they get the, they're going to get some good players too. All right, brand new teams that uh, might be give me an idea of who to go for next, which team to go for next, boys. Uh, new local broadcast. All right, so new changes, big time year. NHL expanded by two teams. Uh, the PS whatever merged with the S. So the two Canadian leagues merged together. Uh, merged leagues would operate under the WCHL name. Continue to, uh, to send their champion to face the NHL's champion. Uh, the team changes. Boston Bruins and the Montreal Maroons have joined the NHL. There we go, boys. So we got those two teams joining the NHL. Uh, changes player format. Okay, so 
The second team plays the third team in the semifinals and the winner plays the first one. So the first one just gets a skip uh, to the finals directly, which is probably going to be Montreal or Toronto. Here we go. We got three teams going to the five. Uh, six were te three, there were six teams. There's three teams that have the chance of going to the, the Stanley Cup uh, championship or Stanley Cup uh, playoffs. So we might have a chance to actually make it to the playoff this year, boys. All right. Good, good, good. So this is all the changes. I'm going to go ahead and do my things again. Uh, do we did we sign everyone? I did sign everyone. All right, I think everyone's good. So I can actually there we go. Go to roster. So I'm just gonna do dress right now. There we go. Dress everyone. Oh, hold on. Uh, meeking, meeking, meeking. Uh, too many uh, left wings or something. What's going on here? Oh, too many right wings. Yeah. Half Skinner, you're going to the minors. There we go. You're not good enough. So just dress players. There we go. Good, good, good. So now we got everyone. We got all the lefties and everything. Our two goaltenders are going to be T.D. Thompson and Alec Connell. Alec Connell playing first, obviously. And T.D. Thompson, he's ready to play in the league. He's a two-star right now. Four-star potential. That puts uh, Wrinkler. He's still a two-star. Same thing in the same position as he was with... Uh, he's still got a one year left, right? We got to re-sign him. So there, there, there we go. And Harry making, uh, Harry Oliver, I'm replacing uh, Half Skinner by him because Half Skinner is a one and a half. Oliver is a three star, boys. He was in the free agency, so I managed to get him from free agency, which is pretty good. It's a big time upgrade for us as well. So there you go, boys. Another upgrade. Uh, now we got that done. I don't think we have anything else going on. So let's just skip to the next day, I guess. There we go. I did resign all of our coaches as well. They needed to be resigned, so I did. And uh, yeah, look at this. So Lester Patrick, his contract's going to be due at uh, the same time as me. So it's his last year, just like me. So next year, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let go of Lester Patrick and bring him into my new team, uh, basically, boys, because he's a fantastic coach. So just going to bring him in. Um, we don't have anything else to do, so let's just go into the draft pick right away. Let's go, boys. Let's do it. Uh, potential. That's what I want to see. So, Maroons and Bruins are first. I'm actually the fourth pick right here. All the way at fourth. All right, then. Uh, let's get them. Let's give them uh, the benefit of the doubt. Give them the chance to get their uh, draft pick. So, Cha Chapman is the first overall. He's going to Montreal. Joe Primo is a good, decent center. I know that for sure. He's going to Boston. And Paul Thompson's going to Ottawa. We're going to get uh, Lewis, I guess, is the best option right here for us. Let me just get every single one of them. Oh, I have another pick right here. This player cannot be signed. Under contract. He's already... Okay. So, in the NHL honors the Canadian uh, contracts. Okay. Whatever, you can play in the minors then. That's good. That's fine by me. So we do have some trades that we can probably figure out. Let me just go see really quick. We're going to go into September right here, just like always, boys. There we go. And now we're going to take a look at the what we could trade, what we could upgrade on our team right here. So let's take a quick look. Harry making could be the one we could upgrade. Uh, either him or Abel. So we could replace Abel, re uh, me put Abel into the minors. And just simply put uh, Meeking, I guess, uh, or and just simply put another right D in there. Or we could just straight up uh, exchange a player for another. Uh, maybe Meeking. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, Meeking. So a left D or a right D? Uh, uh, right D or left wing, boys? I'll uh, take a look. For two other draft picks we got. And a third round pick, we can get Eddie Shore. So let's just get that done. We're going to get Eddie Shore on our team, boys. There we go. That a pretty even transaction. There we go. So that's done. Now we got Eddie Shore. He hasn't been signed, so we do have to re-sign him. Let's just re-sign him really quick at three years maximum amount. And I'm actually going to give him the uh, prospect deal. Or actually, uh, blue chip prospect. There we go. Blue chip prospect deal. And you can get all of that money, my guy. Blue chip prospect, all that kind of shit. So we got that, and uh, now we can we can probably see if we can't even upgrade. We can probably see if we can go for Lalonde as well. We could 
probably go for Lalonde. I'm not sure, boys. Let's just uh, take a look really quick. If, uh, uh, not Lalonde, but Delaney. Take a look if we can. I'm not exact. I don't think we can. That's like three and a half right there. I don't think we're going to be able to. But uh, we can take a look. We can try at least. So let me see real quick. Uh, it's the which goal? Which one is that? It's Meeking. Uh, I think it's perfect. It's perfect. We can actually get him. So we can get Denny, uh, Denny as well. We can. So two trades, two different players that we can get this year. So big time upgrades for this year, boys. So. Uh, would kind of just as a difficult ne negotiation, so they probably would have never accepted that if I didn't force it. So it's kind of cheap on my hand, but it is what it is. Then he still got three years under his contract, three point five. So there we go. Now I just heard uh, the the senator otherwise, uh, otherwise just even further, even more because that's the only player they probably had left aside from their goaltender, right? So. They don't have any players left, really, but um, I, I got to change. I, I got to change something. I have to win the cup or at least try to compete because I know I'm going to make it to the playoffs. The other three teams against us are pretty garbage, right? There are two new teams plus the Senator Ottawa, uh, the Ottawa Senators, which are always garbage anyways. And I just got rid of one of their best players, their veterans. So we got the uh, Denny boys. I'm interested to see what he's going to do for us. Babe Dye is going to be our assist guy. And for the defense wise, it's either Cameron or Shore. I'm going to put on uh, Shore as our main uh, our assistant as well. So our alternate. And Starney is still going to be our captain or whatever. So there we go. We got that. And now we can coach. You can decide the lineups. That's what you want to do. Fine by me. So there we go, boys. So you can see right here, this is what the lineups are going to look like this year. It's going to be Denny with Frank Boucher and Babe Dye. That's a really good line. That's a really good line right there. Uh, Scott with Lalonde and Barney Stanley. Now, Lalonde and Barney Stanley, do they have good chemistry at this point? Fair. It's still only fair. They've been, they had like two years to go together. I guess they don't work well together, I guess. So Harry Oliver in third place. And uh, Gerard with Carson and Boucher, Clancy and Eddie Shore, our brand new guy in here. Uh, Trap and Cameron. And we got Stewart and Conisher. We got some really good players. And Connell and Thompson. Really good players coming up for this year, boys. So we're going to do awesome. We're going to do perfect. All right. So in the, the second year, boys, there we go. So you can already see second year right here. Everything's perfect. Uh, we actually have, it's going to change this year round. It's actually 30, 30 games now that we got more teams. So uh, six more games than usual. So there's that, boys. At least, you know, we're going to do fine. I have a good feeling this year. Uh, even though I know Montreal and Toronto are going to be OP as always, right? Mo Montreal did lose a couple of players over the years. They lost Malone, they lost Ty Taylor over uh retirement right and all that stuff but they still have a really good team uh team if we just take a look at montreal right what do they have as roster that's what's cool about this game you can actually look at the roster too uh, just look at this shit. let's see this is far be beyond my roster far beyond it uh, and they uh, they had a proper a uh, couple of players that retired too so they have an ainsworth as a five star neil stewart and morans are both Big time prospect, and they're both three and a half star right now. Uh, George A, pretty much a really good veteran. McKay, another good veteran. All right, they still have him. Birch, a good prospect. Bill Cook is still in here. Uh, three stars. Haven't uh, hasn't become what he was supposed to be uh, to be, but still pretty good. Joliat, same thing. All right, go Dolan. They got all these great players. Take a look at Toronto, their team. What do they... Not as good, all right? Pretty much on par with ours, probably. Uh, Ray Noble, their best player. They've got three and a half stars. They've got three stars like crazy. A lot of three stars. But our roster is pretty good. I'd say it's better than Toronto's roster because we got uh, two four stars. We got uh, two four, three and a halves. There we go. 
and we got three three and uh, three stars so maybe probably not as in depth well actually no you know what yeah it's definitely better than toronto's roster so we shouldn't be struggling against toronto we should be better than toronto montreal though it's kind of par it's kind of on par so we're kind of the same as to, uh, montreal well just have to see in the next video i guess what's going to happen it's going to be our last year as the gm uh, for me and uh let's start patrick over here both of us it's going to be our last year under management for the hamilton tigers uh for sure i'm not going to resign with them i always want to switch teams over and over again just to make it a bit more challenging so we're going to see who we're going to go with. For now, I don't know. What I want to worry about is who do we uh, do we need to... Are we going to be able to win the cup at least once more with the Tigers? Give them at least another cup, right? Because once we're gone too, this is probably going to be the last year, right? I don't, hear, I don't know. Is there one year left? Normally in real life, Hamilton Tigers stopped existing. They ceased operations around 25 or 26 